Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be a really quick video. I wanted to get this news out to you. The JP data download came out about, I'd say about a half hour ago. I was driving. I did see some information post up about it, so I'm kind of hyped about it. We do have the new Android 17 and Android 21, the voluptuous Android 21, who is now also available. Um, so we have some uh, quick translations over here. I'm kind of hyped for it. Again, um, I will not be summoning on the JP side. I just did another sum multi-summon today for the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, again, got crap. So, I mean, maybe I'll post those two summons up that I did, but probably not because I don't think it's worth it for you guys just to watch two videos or two summonings. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, let's see over here. First off, shout out to the Reddit as always. Shout out to dbc.space or jpn.dbc.space for the Japanese stuff. Um, so also shout out to over here, my FGC, um, where are some of these translations, Android 17, his leader skill is Android Saga category, key plus three, uh, attack and HP plus 170%, so broken, 130% for defense, um, or super physical type key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 90%. He's actually a really damn good leader, guys. That's a phenomenal leader ability, uh, for Android category. Plus we're going to be talking about the Android categories. If you guys want to know about that, I'll talk about that. Super attack, grand explode, immense damage, lowers attack and defense. I personally would have been happier with greatly lowers attack, but you know, all of us probably would have. But lowers attack and defense is not horrible. His passive skill, attack plus 120% when performing a super attack, that makes sense. Plus three key for all allies, that's okay, that's, a, that's actually really good. 60% uh, defense and, uh, and below 77 HP. Uh, what does that even mean? This isn't a translation. Um, so when... I guess when your HP is below seven or below 40%, you get 40% um, damage reduction and 60% defensive buff. That's what I'm assuming that it is. I thought these are supposed to be uh, some, some translations over here. These are the cards. So let's go over and see if we can make that out. Um, yeah, no, that's, this is, looks like it's exactly, it was just copy and pasted pretty much. Um, so defense 60% up and HP 70% less under damage less than 40%. So yeah, I guess it, I guess it makes sense when your when your damage is under 40% or your health is under 40%, you get a 77% de uh, defense or you get a defense buff and whatnot. Uh, I will let you guys know when the official information comes out. Right now, it's not translated officially. So um, that last part, I'm kind of uh, a little bit weak. We're weary on. Uh, Android 21 transform now Android 21 leader ability Android category saga is or Android category is key, uh, three key uh, HP attack and defense was 150% um, She has pre transformed information Her super attack photon wave deals immense damage heals 10% passive three key for herself 90% for attack and defense and attack enemies attack and defense minus 20% for two turns um, Okay uh, That's cool. I, I don't uh, after uh, Transform after meeting fulfill, uh, meeting the conditions. So that means attacked enemies attack. Yeah, for two turns. Okay, that's cool. That's not bad. So that means if you give her some additional, she might be a little bit better. So that way she can debuff the enemy by 40%. Um, and then 90% attack buff. So yeah, if, I would give her a split so far from what I'm seeing here. Uh, post transformation, danger time. Ooh, danger time. Uh, immense damage, lowers attack and defense. Three key for herself, 130% to attack and defense. Heals 13% HP. Nullify enemies guard when you activate super attack. That's actually not that bad. Um, so yeah, I would probably go with, uh, with additionals on her because you are, uh, eliminating their guard. So they're not going to be guarding against you. They'll still have type advantage, but they won't guard against you, which means she's going to do a little bit of additional damage to units that she has type, um, disadvantage against. Uh, but having that, um, the, that debuff before she transforms is actually pretty awesome. Now, I don't know what her transformation is at this time, what it, what it requires for that. Again, when this becomes out, I will definitely let you know. Um, Android 21, her other, her other cards, because we have two of them over here. Uh, this is the one that we're talking about for the Android Saga leader ability. And man, look at that. You, look at that artwork. That's, um, that's some pretty damn impressive artwork over there. Woo, let's go ahead and get that full screen real quick. Oh, man. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice artwork. She's almost like Majin Buu, almost. So honestly, I did not, like, get into Android 21 at all. I don't know what's going on with her or her storyline, her story arc. I haven't watched anything. So she does look like Majin Buu a little bit, but damn. All right, girl, let's go ahead. This is the other one that we're talking about. This is the um, scientist looking one. Then this is what happens when she Doken awakens. That's what she looks like. So that's what this one is over here. Android category, uh, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Not that great. I'm assuming she's going to be a free to play card that drops in an event. Uh, super attack is supreme damage, heal 7%, which is cool. Passive skill, Android category, allies, key plus two, attack and defense plus 30%. That makes sense. Um... Uh, Android 16 we're also getting over here it looks like Android 6 oh, we'll, we'll go look at that super tech type 
Uh, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Not bad. Super attack, health flash, supreme damage, greatly raises defense for one turn. Okay. Um, passive skill for himself, uh, attack plus attack and defense plus 80%, and defense plus 30% per android category ally on the team up to 90%. Wow. And high chance to guard. Yeah, he is such a tank. He's going to be a super tech type tank. That's going to be insane. These guys are pretty damn awesome. Let's go over here and see if we can find the Android 16. He is supposed to be a new tech type. Uh, here he is. Okay, cool. So that's him right here. That's awesome artwork right there. And look, look this is going to be Zdokin Wake. Let's go ahead and refresh him until he's the main unit on our page. Um, it, we don't have any, It looks like we don't have any information over here about what it requires to get him. Oh, actually, that awoken. There we go. Um, so it looks like the Android 21 medal. So he's going to have that. And it looks like he's going to have the, I guess this is the Super Strike card medals. Um, so when he does Doken Awaken, let's see over here. Now, when he Doken Awakens, let's see what this bad boy does. He does have Fierce Battle, it looks like. So let's go over here, translate that to English. Yeah, he does have Fierce Battle. Let's go ahead and... Um, <laughs> that's not that bad. Not that bad. Wow, that artwork's actually pretty damn awesome. Holy crap. Oh, he, 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 I'm finally glad they did an Android 16. I am a, a, a fan of him. So, but yeah, he's a super tech type. That's freaking crazy. All right, cool. So uh, that's the units, guys. Again, when we have more information, I will definitely go back over the uh, Android 17 passive. Obviously, I will do it when I do my team building guide, as I always do. Um, outside of that, um, oh, also uh, STR21. Um, that's the uh, other, the, the, I guess it's, we're going to go over to schedule. Oh, no, we, we can't go over to schedule. It doesn't matter. The STR one, this is the badass one. Um, she is also part of the full power category saga. So that's pretty awesome. Okay. So uh, just keep that in mind. She's part of full power category so she will be on that team if you want to run her. Um, but that's about it, guys. Yeah, when I have more information, I will definitely let you know. Stay tuned. I will be doing a team building guide as soon as they're available on dokonbattlebuilder.com. Uh, I'll catch you down in the comments below, and uh, stay hyped. Peace out.